Hey guys, what's up? Uh, my name's Nate. Um, I am a 17-year-old kid who is going through technical high school right now. I'm going for my, uh, you know, to become an automotive technician and uh, all my ASC certifications and, uh, you know, pretty much just trying to get my life going on track with a career that I can just, you know, go hop up in the field in and just get going and, you know, start living life. But I wanted to make a vlog to kind of uh, make a change in the world. You know, do, do you always hear people saying, you know, be the change in the world that you want to see? Uh, I, I just, you know, I, I feel as if I help at least one person a day that I'm making a change in the world. I'm making the world a better place. So, you know, my my goal in these vlogs is to essentially... Make at least one person's day a better, you know, better day. You know, brighten up someone's day. Um, whether it be a thousand people that I help out or one person that I help out, I really don't care. You know, I'm still helping someone out, hopefully. Um, but I want to I wanna take this first vlog to tell you guys a little bit about myself and um, pretty much give you an understanding of where I'm coming from. So, you know, you guys don't just hop up in these vlogs and say, oh, you know, you've never lived that lifestyle. You don't know what it's like, blah, blah, blah. Because um, I'll, I'll, I can assure you I've lived many lifestyles. You know, I, I've lived what it's like to be, you know, very low class, you know, poor, uh, don't have much money. You really only have money for your bills and, you know, just barely enough to get by. And, uh, you know, I've also gone through, you know, the average lifestyle. You know, you got a house, you got a car, you got a, a garage, you know, you, you got a brother, sister, you know, father, mother. You know, you, just the average things, you know. I've lived that life. And then I've also lived not not the rich life, but the wealthy life. You know, I, I, I've lived a life where you have money. You, you can get things that you want to get. Uh, and, you know, you live in a, you know, a more upscale neighborhood or, you know, a more upscale house and you, you drive a more upscale car and, you know, you just, everything's, you know, more upscale, you know, it's more expensive, your lifestyle. And I've had each one of those lifestyles crash and burn. Um, we, uh, my father left my mother when I was about a year old and he took me and my sister and my two brothers from Arizona to Connecticut and we lived with my grandparents for almost uh, a year or two because uh, we had no money my father left everything behind you know he didn't care he just you know wanted to get his kids out of the situation they were in and give them a good life and uh, it got to the point where my father was able to get a rental house. And, you know, we, we were getting by just barely. Uh, there were a couple times, you know, in the winter we didn't have money for oil to heat the house. So we would have to go and ask the town or we couldn't pay our water bill. You know, we would have to get an extension. You know, couldn't pay our rent. You know, thankfully my father was good friends with the the landlord <clears throat> so we were able to just manage to get by, you know, and it, it was a struggle. And then I lived the average, average life, you know, you know, the middle class life, uh, I guess, if you want to call it. You know, I lived in a thousand square foot house with my father and his newlywed wife, uh, my current stepmother. And, uh, you know, life was good. It wasn't bad. I went to a, uh, a Catholic parochial school. Uh, I hated it. It was horrible. I couldn't stand that school. Um, I'm not bashing on Catholics. I'm not bashing on religion. I don't want to make this channel anything like that. You know, I believe in God. I believe in, you know, whatever. That's not what this is about. Um, it's just the, what, the way the school was. It was such a culture shock. You know, I went from a public school to... You know, uniforms, mass on Wednesdays, um, religion class for an hour and a half a day. 
you know, just all these different things that I wasn't used to. And I went through that for roughly four and a half to five years. And my father started getting uh, better job opportunities. And he, he took one. And uh, one of the benefits of that was he was making, you know, 2000 plus dollars a week. And he started saving and saving and saving and saving. And he wanted so badly to provide a even better life. And we ended up moving to a small town near where I had been living at that point in a much bigger house. We went from like an 850 square foot house to a 2,450 square foot house. Beautiful house, brand new. It was like six years old, seven years old. Um, you know, and there were a few things wrong with the house, but you know, every house needs work when you move into it. You know, we did new carpet, new paint, uh, new countertops, a couple of cabinets here and there, uh, new fridge, new washer, new dryer, you know, new dishwasher, you know, just, you know, updates. And, uh, I lived there for four years, um till my junior year of high school, but after the first, or no, the second year of living in that house, my father was diagnosed with stage four renal cell kidney cancer, and later on passed away about four months after he was diagnosed. Um, my stepmother wasn't making much money, she still doesn't, but you know, she's She's doing all right. Um, so we didn't really have the money to afford paying all those bills. You know, our mortgage was like two grand a month and then homeowners insurance and electricity. And, you know, we had a well, so thank God we didn't have to pay for water. Um, still, that's that, that's not really a big expense when you come to it, when it comes down to it. But, uh, you know, TV and Internet, it was they were jipping us, we were paying like 160 bucks a month, you know, so we, we got screwed over there, uh, you know, phone bills, you know, just all these bills just piling up and piling up, you know, and we're $8,000, $10,000 short every month, you know, so it's, it's like, uh, you know, it's, it's a struggle trying to get through that. You know, so we, we eventually kept going until we almost were dead broke and uh, ended up selling that house and moving to a city not too far from that town into a much, much smaller house. Um, it was a very drastic culture shock after getting used to living a lifestyle like that, you know, where you could just, you know, you go to the store, you see something you want, you fucking buy it. Now, uh, we're at this point where we want a pack of gum. We can't even afford a pack of gum because we got our bills. But we ended up selling the house, moving to the city, not too far from my old house. And we moved into the much, much smaller house. And it's like 800 square feet, 900 square feet. So it's not too small but it's small compared to what I had gotten used to and financially things are way better you know our our mortgage is like 600 a month homeowners insurance is like 200 you know just all our bills have gotten way way cheaper and more manageable you know so I, I know the lifestyle of you know even like uh you know the depression you know you, you, you go from having all this money and being prosperous to not having any money at all and being you know down in the dumps you know so I, I know what it's like to kind of crash and burn but my life hasn't changed I'm still the same person that I was in that house you know I'm still the same person today that I'm gonna be in 10 years I'm a hard-working you know, very kind and considerate, very, you know, just well-mannered, 
person, you know, and I, I, you know, I always think to people, you know, why do you make fun of people, you know, why do you make fun of me, you know, I, I don't do that, you know, all I, I don't care if they're making fun of me or someone else, I'm still going to try and make their day better, because you know what, maybe, maybe they're upset, and their, their way of getting it out is by taking it out on someone else, you know, so maybe they're having a hard time at home, I mean, I'm not trying to justify it or nothing, but, you know, I know what it's like to live that life, and I know what it's like to have to deal with those situations, so what I'm trying to get at is all I want to make this channel for is to brighten people's days, make make it a better place, you know? Make it a better place for, you know, future generations. And, and that's that's all I ask. You know, I want to make the world a better place. So, hopefully, you guys will join me on that journey to make this world a better place. And I don't know. I'm gonna if I'm gonna host this vlog uh, once a week, uh, maybe three times a week, or if it's every day. I'm not totally positive, but hopefully, you guys will join me. And stick with the vlog. Um, I know it was a little boring today. I didn't take you guys anywhere. Um, I'm just in my room. But, you know, I will, I swear, you know, later vlogs, future vlogs, I will take you guys places. And, you know, we'll we'll try and make fun of the blog. You know, we'll have fun with it. Um, it's not going to be boring me sitting here talking every time. So, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. You're amazing people. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Have a wonderful day.